All right, hey everyone. Um, so this is Nathus, and today me and Mundungu are going to be doing some set two gameplay. So we're going to start with some set two decks that we've constructed just to kind of show off some of the set two cards, and then we're going to play a couple of competitive games as well. So, I'm um, Mundungu. I have you here on the call. So how you doing? Uh, pretty good. Um, already played a few games t earlier today. So awesome. Yeah, I've been... got this uh, the sealed deck basically that I'm going to be playing. Nice. So, I think it's pretty good though. Yeah, honestly, the, the deck that I played in Sealed was pretty solid. Um, this one, though, I'm going to be playing is a little bit more of a mobility deck. Um, there's a couple cards that I really wanted to try together. Um, so here, let me just move these over. Um, so specifically, I really want to be running um, the Spirit Golem Conclave with cards that have mobility. Um, this um, blue deck is interesting, so it's got also Sinistia's Laboratory, which is a card I think is pretty crazy um, if you can utilize oh, it yeah. well. Um, so I was just like, good. hey, you know what? This is, has a lot of interesting set two cards. Like, let's go for it and see what happens. Yeah, that plus Gizimo is really nice. Yeah, yeah. so we'll see. Like, I, I played one game with this for fun, um, and I noticed that my um, board was getting a little too full. So I couldn't really yeah. have ability as much. So this might not be the right build, but it's something that might be fun to just kind of showcase some cards. Yeah, I know that feeling. Right. Okay. Let's see what you're playing, because I didn't even look. Ooh, okay, so you're running some similar cards on your red side. Ooh, this looks aggressive. All right, let's see. Honestly, I have no idea. It usually um, ends games mid-cycle three, so... Okay. It's not okay. super aggressive or anything. How have you felt about Arboris so far? Because that's a card that I haven't played yet. Uh, it's completely dead card in this deck. Okay, that's... I, I only have one way to proc it, so... That's kind of what I was nervous about in terms of, of it being good. Yeah, I, I just never play it. But there's like a dream scenario where I somehow uh, replace something with a refreshing guy and then play it. But I yeah. set that up once and then I just bottom decked Arboros. So <laughs> I get it. So I've never played it before. All right. So I guess what I'll do, just because I think this card is cool and I'll isolate the Vortex. Yeah. Maybe should have left or led on the other thing. So now I'm in. Horrible spot. Oh, uh, man. See, I feel like this isolates an interesting card because it's like... Yes, turn one specifically is where yes. it's good. Otherwise, it's pretty dead. Yeah, it's like it, if you're playing this oh. with an Ice Storm, though, that could really make it difficult for your opponent, especially at the beginning of a cycle. <laughs> I think I have to not play the thing I wanted to play now because I can't just feed you a 4-4, four four, probably. It'll be fine. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I literally just have to play this thing now. All right, we got a 7-5. I wanted to play Glowhive Nursery after the Vortex, so we got a little greedy. Glowhive Nursery is such a good card. Um, I actually yeah. have a deck that um, I paired, and it's, it basically plays like a set one deck, because there's only two or three set two cards in it. Um, but it runs Glowhive Nursery, um, Biologist, and then um, I have uh, Lysian Rain Betrayer in the other half. But that half is silver, oh, yeah. so I can't play it in any tournaments right now. But, um, oof. All right, let's see. So you got a 7-5 here. Knowing what I have and what I want to level. I think I'm just going to still try to remove your thing. Yeah, probably should. I'll play it in focus. Just, uh... I'll activate to deal two to it, and then they'll trade. Yeah, that's about as good as I can do. I, I was hoping the 1-8 wouldn't die, but... I think it would have been an okay spot without the isolate. I get that. So I'll start with the lab. You get a gizmo. Yeah. Funny. This uh, card is so good. <laughs> so when you replace a creature, you get a gizmo. Okay. Um, in another lane. I will play this here. So I'm going to make that a wisp. All right, so this will replace it and make a gizmo. Because it replaces oh, it. Oh, that proxy thing. So Actually, it's up to you if you want to. Uh, that's pretty bad. Um, let's see here. What I'd rather do. All right, let's just play this here then. So I'll do that. All right. So let's see. So we've got Venerable Stormling. 
I guess this is not a bad move here. Although Venerable is eight, so that's kind of annoying. That's so large. Are you, so are you actually? Re are you sure that works? So yeah, because it says, says I replace it. Yeah, so, so it's I just didn't... like um, there was a what's it called? Someone posted on the rules chat about Flame Shaper Savant, and if someone forces you with a Botanimate to replace it, it still is you playing the uh, level one card. Okay. Yeah, so that was one that was an interesting ruling. Um, but yeah, so it's like I still play it, even though it says you may replace an enemy creature with a Wisp. It's it's a weird interaction. Gotcha. Which, again, is one that I feel like is not as intuitive the way the card is worded. Yeah. Um, but if you want, I could just... Let me double check to be safe. Oh, that's fine. If it's already been looked at, then I like sure. I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure that's what it what it was. Um, all right, I think this is the right card to play here. I actually don't even know what the level two does, so let me search this real quick. All right, yeah, I'll give this a try. So I'll replace the Gizmo with a Rageborn Eruptor, so it's gonna get plus two plus two. And then it gets one attack for each exalt in play. And then because I replaced a creature in that lane, I'll play a gizmo here. Then two. Alright. Um let's see. I've been being greedy and it seems to work out, so let's continue that, I guess. Play this here. Oof, I I think this might not have worked out this time. <laughs> so I'll play Ferocious for. Yep. It's fine. It's about the same. I guess I lose my guy now. Well, yours is armored, right. though, so at least this lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, time. they both live because of the plus. Or they both, at least all my stuff dies. Uh, let's see. So this is supposed to be here, probably. Um, this gets pumped. And then, yeah, I'm going to move this guy. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you'll take four. Uh, it's a trample or yeah, yeah. For breakthrough. Yeah. Okay. Then yours will go to one. Okay. That was solid there. This guy seems to work out a lot more than I was expecting. I thought it would backfire a lot more often. Um. Okay. First play, huh? Wow. <laughs> Oh man. Hate this situation. So I could set up a coin flip arborist next turn, but yeah. I just don't think I should do that. It's just <laughs> it's not worth the risk. Um I yeah, think that... I'm just gonna play a five eight. <laughs> so let's see, it's refreshing, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. This replacing the yeah, yeah, and then just to confirm, so someone asked, does Polymorph for replacing a Flame Shape or Savant trigger it? The answer was yes. Playing and banishing are same simultaneous in the current rules, and Savant can be triggered by things that remove it from play. So it's huh. the same thing right. with just the the others as well. Yeah. Good right. to know. So, yeah. All right, so we got a five eight. Oof. I think I have to start with this. I'll start with a Gizzy mode. There he is. Yeah. So he's a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Uh, I probably should have done something about that. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely messed up here. Um... Well, I'm going to replace something. I think it's going to be... I guess it'll just be the Spell Sprite. And then I'll just hit this for four. <laughs> I I have one spell. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I was hoping that would stay. Yeah, I guess I should have led on a spell, actually, just in case that happened. Oh, I see what you're saying. So this way has better. got two armor. Oof. None of these are ideal situations for me right now, because that's just going to die. I feel like I just need to level this, though. Um, I can't take 17 here, can I? 
<laughs> I, I, see, I don't know. Uh, the thing is, I was if Gizmo lived, I'd be a little happier because then yeah, I would this have is like an exact bodies. situation I had during um, Sealed. So let's it's like see. kill a Gizmo on the synapse. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Um, I, so I, I have to level this. The question is, do I want to take damage? I like. I guess technically, I can live at one. And then you'll be able to still just kill something easily next turn with it. So that's still gonna die. Yours will live too, though. I think I'm just gotta remove something. And at this point, this is the harder one to remove. Six that has the better. two armor. Yeah, so I'm gonna simulac oh, well, remove it. Yeah. So I'm taking 11. Yeah. Let's, let's trade. Okay. It's definitely good that I replaced the spell sprite then. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I start with this. It's not ideal. And. Kill though. Maybe it's this that I have to upgrade then. Um, I guess let's start with a synapse warden here. Um, I'll activate to. Um, if I have another robot in play, which I don't, I'll upgrade a card in my hand and discard it. See, at this point, it's tough because I don't think I could really do this in the position I'm in. Um, I think I'm just going to upgrade this, though. So I'm going to upgrade. Oh, maybe not. I think this is what I upgrade here. I'll upgrade a Raging Smash Fist. And then I'll pass to you. Um, how paranoid I want to be. Um, I'm just going to play this here, and then I'm going to use my uh, Nova to do this minus four and this plus four. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to move it over here. That's solid there. <sighs> Alright, so I think in this position, though, this is still the right move. So I do that first. See, the thing is, it's just going to wipe my board, unfortunately. But whatever. In this situation, hey, this is where I got to go. Yeah, so I'll go sprites, and I'll go... That's in the back, so I don't care as much about that. This, I'll get one, two, five, six, seven. Won't kill it. That's unfortunate. Um, so I'll go here and here. Um, I will then... Play a burnout. Mm, yeah. I four. And then let's do it. I'll play a flame jet too. Oh god. <laughs> okay. So it's seven four. I should probably remove that. All of these trades, so I guess I'll play the best, which is probably this. Play a 4 4 yeah. um, Wisp over here. Alright, so these trade. Yeah. These trade. trade over here. Here's Go to one. Okay. Turn. Oh, that's funny. Is that better than anything else? You did have the isolate. 
Wow. I did. <laughs> <laughs> it was useless two. there. Yeah. Could have killed my 10 11 or 11 10 if I didn't move it. So you got like really limited removal here. sure where I'm supposed to play things. It's been a lot more like placement matters stuff going on with set two, I think. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Play this here. This is a Furious. Hmm. I think I just start with this. Yeah, I'll start with the Warbringer Ritual to play a Sprite. Sprite. Then I'll go to you. Okay, what's better? Another turn. I guess looking at the cards doesn't really help me that much. I don't, I don't know most of these. Okay. <laughs> well, um, you can always just search through the, the upgrade files. Yeah. Let's play something. I'm to figure out. So this this would be uh, eight, seven. Is that better than another creature? Probably not. Um. So let's just try to get aggro here and see what happens. Move this here. Play this five to both of these. Oof. And I guess I'll activate this thing. See, that's not what I was hoping you would do. I had a feeling removal was coming. Yeah. I put all I my. I could have. I could have savage you with this guy for plus three plus six, but. Yeah, I put all my eggs probably. in the laboratory basket. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a lot of removal in the stack. Oh, I see. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, that's just what I got to do. So Wait, I'm taking twenty two. Oh, so the pump was bad. Okay. Uh, twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't go to two health against the Gizmo deck. True. Okay. He's trade. Yep. So it's just the same. Oh, it just gets two guys instead. Of yeah, one. so the level two gets two guys in your place. But I just I haven't been able to keep a board, so I can't really take advantage of this as much. Yeah. Um. Because I'm hoping that every time it's like I play a card and then can make like three things on the board to kind of try to prevent some damage a little. Um. But it has not been working defensively like I would have hoped. Um. Huh. This is not an ideal situation for me to be in. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least yeah, um, yeah. so I think what we'll start with I'll start with a tortoise colossus five five. It's nine two okay, so that's going to trade with the eleven probably uh, where do I put this guy Let's try here. Oof. All right, that's not good. I feel like this is going to be the end. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go. Taking at least five. I'm just going to hope you don't have a spell, even though I know you have a spell. No, I know you have a spell. I can't play it like that. Um, so what I'm going to do... We've got to play smart. So this way I'll only take 10 and I'll, at least I'll live. So I'll start by mobilitying this here. I'll play the simulacrum. I'll mobility this. Okay. So at least I only take 10 when you play your spell. Um, You're at 12. Let's see. 
Unless whatever you do pumps. So that kills that. That's. Oh yeah, I think that's yeah that is lethal. Twin oh yeah, that's hundred percent lethal. Yeah, good yep. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, I built it because of the Spare Golem Conclave, and I didn't see it. <laughs> um, but uh, it's... Which, which color is that? So it's the red one. Hold that on, red. let me find it. Because I think that card needs to be in a mobility. Oh, this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like whenever one of your creatures enter this lane, give it plus X attack. So yeah, I have I have a couple it... decks that have the Conclave in it, um, but it's just finding the right build. And I want to try it with some set two decks first. But Okay. Um, I think that this might pair better with like a set one deck with like an Epoch Hawk and a Simulacrum versus a set two deck that's not as mobility heavy. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that could be good, but it's I I like value those just like just power buffs. I value those so low. Oh, generally. I know. Yeah. Oh, I agree. <laughs> that's something I want to try to build though. Yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. Just as sure. like a fun thing, not necessarily like a super competitive thing. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And then also, I know Cardboard uh, Newt just messaged that he's available a little bit ago. So do you want to call him into this as well, just so we can also sure, talk yeah. about stuff as we play? All right. So let me call him into our call, and then go reload this. Awesome. Um, we can try a Nova deck if you want. I think I'll get smashed, but this deck keeps performing better than I would expect. So maybe, maybe it won't. Let's... And I can I can switch to a good deck if I get smashed. Ooh, it looks like hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I add him to our voice call. Mm. Okay. Run request. Yeah, you might need to mit, like make a Discord group or something. Oh, there we go. Hold on. So now let's see. And let me get the deck up as well. So yeah, I think we let's let's try the Nova Elementalist one. So I've got quite yeah. a few builds. Um, okay. So I'll try. That's that's probably the more productive thing to do anyway. <laughs> trying to find good decks. Yeah, for sure. So let's try. So I'll try this deck one more time, and I'll probably get destroyed, but we'll give it a shot. So I'll try the first one that I built. There's a couple others that are interesting builds, but this is the one that I've played before. So it'll be interesting to see how it feels after playing some of the others. But I think the one that I opened that has the Betrayer Specimen and some other face damage related cards is a little better than this one. Okay. In terms of at least the red half. Let's get these off. I gotta figure out which Forgeborn I'm using here. Necro. It's annoying. I think this one uses Cersei. Oh yeah. <laughs> List. Okay. So Disintegrate, Nova Elementalist. Is that the only spells? This one, is, and there's also, um, what is it? Yeah, this one I think is only a two speller. No, Flames oh, Colter seal. seal as well. Seal. Yep. But it's oh, got seal's really good. Yeah, but this one's got a chaining card as well as the Uranti Elementalist, which is why I paired it with a six spell. Got it. Okay. To kind of balance it out a little, and then this side has a lot of removal too. Uh, is the group thing working or? Um, oh yeah, let me see. Um, Oh, there we go. Oh, well, that probably right. worked. Yeah, I think this worked. I guess I should leave the stream now, huh? <laughs> it's up to you. Um, also, we could join you into the thing so you could actually watch on. Um... Yeah, joining in now. There you go. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's start with this guy. Yeah, Mystical Teacher is one that I think is a really interesting card for this set. I think it's really good, but it, it's there's no elemental outside of red, so it can't get that crazy. Yeah, I get that. Although if you play it with a Nova Elementalist, yeah, <laughs> it makes other things <laughs> elementals as well. I wish I had these. Yeah, that's that's like the dream is these two in the same deck. Um, I think we're taking the removal plan this this half. Or this off the forge. So let's manga sorta. That's fine. Okay. And back. <laughs> Gotta yep. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't have that specific. Well I guess we're <laughs> gonna have Necrovive. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Alright. So well. 
guess I'm not behind yet. Um, I guess let's start here. There he you. is. Got all the answers. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Please. I guess, well, I didn't get a good setup for this, so we'll just trade. All right, so I gain one, you lose one. <laughs> two empty boards for the first two games, <laughs> or first two cycles. I was feeling good about that turn. Disintegrate was pretty timely. Yeah, I guess I got to, again, head neck revive. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty good removal. So Necro is about to happen, apparently. <laughs> Maybe. All right, I uh, ran out of good cards, I think. Let's see. Let's try this thing. I think this card's terrible. But... We were just talking about this card like not even an hour ago. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll try it. Huh. So, let's see. That's not even worth an echo. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe I start here and see what you have. I just gotta look at your deck one more time. Sure. Oh, sorry, that's then I miss. So Nova. far, no Nova. Where? Oh, here we go. So we got. Assuming Nova's happening here. Maybe. I guess it's a coin flip. So. So I, I think... hope it does, because that's kind of the point is to play that card. Kind of waste if you didn't have it. Start the Colossus. Let's then... see. Weird. So I guess you want that thing to survive. Maybe. I'm gonna burn out. Um, and then I'll activate this. So five and five. All right. So what I'll do? I was just trying to get a trigger here because I did not try okay. it. So actually, <laughs> okay. hold on, do I want this here? You know, what? I'll actually move this first, sure. and then I'll trade. replace. Um, so then I can play a level one spell for free. Am I feeling? This or this? I guess supposed to be this. trying the Nova. <laughs> oh, uh, jeez. I guess I'm supposed to lose this, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. The thing is, though, this is good because sometimes you're not going to draw it, and you got to see how the deck can do without. Yeah. True. Oof! This is a. Close hand to be good, but not what I want. Um, so I think... Nova's still great, even in cycle two. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna start. With... Let's see if all your removal leveled. That's fun. Yes, that is true. And life drain. Okay. I think we're starting with this, and then we're getting to that. I'll start this here. Uh, actually, we'll start this here. Okay. Then two. Uh, go ahead. Let's see. So, if I move that, this one deals four for every elemental. Yeah. That's pretty strong. All right. So let's start with. Which one needs to die? <laughs> um, so I'm playing this. Gonna do that. You can utilize your thing. Um, I think at this point that'll still live. This way. This is actually really strong, Nova's Judgment. Yeah, I, I think that's maybe the best Nova that you can get in set two. <laughs> because it's like it's one of those things where I read it Judgment's initially, great. and I'm just like, oh, that's not bad. But now it's like I'm really legitimately have to play around it right now. And it's like anything that yeah. you could do right now will likely like, still... That can go to any lane. Keep like your second. stuff. Yeah. So I think here what I try to do is more of a push... And then that forces you to play another thing, and then I just get rid of 
probably the one that can deal damage. I don't care as much about the power. So I'm going to mobility this here. Okay. I'm going to elementalist here. I'll Virix embrace to deal four to the teacher and gain four. Then I'll activate and deal another four to the teacher. Right. Then two. So two cards left, I guess. I'm feeling kind of good about this one. So shot. Uh, so these scribes are gonna take. Or I could trade with the big guy. Okay, so I would go to 35. I have a lot of things that kills the 10-6. Okay, let's just do that then. Play this here. I don't have another spell. Oh, all right. Twin strength. Yeah, conveniently when we're playing okay. today, the every single deck I brought had like four spells at most. Oh no. So Reveler <laughs> was just really nice. So I almost so if I had one more spell in my hand, I could have done Urantia Elementalist to play a spell. I also had the chaining ice crutcher in hand. So oh, I geez. could have done a double chain, but I couldn't. <laughs> I was like I wow. saw that hand, I was just like so close, but so far. Alright, so yours is gonna work. Right, so I take three. Yep. And um I'll I, take I take, go to thirty five. I'll take seven. Alright. So let's go bear. Give me that bear. Well, I guess that's what I wanted. Uh, toxic this guy for two and then activate. So six total toxic on him. Yeah. Right, let's see. That's got two armor on it. So I guess we start with this. It's free anyway. Okay. Um. I guess it's probably still just dead. Well, got the heart seeker. Thinking about that. That's that's tough. So a six eight or a ten two. Uh, let's let's lose this thing. Let's go as my actual play. I think this is first. There it is. Yeah. There. Two. Hmm. Activate this. Yeah. Um, and both of these are good. One play. So I gotta assume some shenanigans are gonna happen. Maybe. So if I play this, it only Dreadbolt destroys me. So I guess that's the play. I have exactly Dreadbolt, I think. Or no, Disintegrate does kill that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <I'm trying laughs> <to level> that. <laughs> yeah. I'd still rather level that guy than the Decay SR anyway. All right, so I'm taking seven. Yep. You're taking four. This takes four, and then this will flip. Let's go. All right. Yeah, if there's I nothing I can do about that. Or if I want to go for some damage to kill that. I think at this point, I'm okay with this dying. Alright, that's where I'll, I'll put that. Probably in. you're almost always okay with that dying. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, oh wow, well, I, I have all my bad cards leveled, don't I? I want to start with this, and we'll see what else you do. So I'll just dreadbolt the heat seeker, or heart seeker. Sure. Then I'll pass two. Go ahead. Eight five. I think. 
grow that out. That's the only interaction that's kind of annoying that that does that. So maybe I just kill your thing. <laughs> right, why not? Um, that's on debating. Do I kill or do I play a card that's just a little better in this situation? I think I'd rather just throw this out. Knowing the life that's at, that we're at, you can just block. You'll take four, six. I think I just throw out the camouflage shambler here. Five, seven. So the only downside, as far as I understand, um, if this would be destroyed, you transform it, so it doesn't actually trigger the camouflage shambler if this dies. I see. <laughs> so you can't um, auto-flip it, I guess is the best way yeah. to put it. Okay. Cool. We can't lose anything, so we're going to cycle three. So I think this guy comes over here. And I guess I just play this here. Let's see. I guess maybe I care about five life. I don't know. This is probably fine. And I'll pump the bear. Yeah. All right. So you'll take eight and five because of the stealth. Yeah. So I go. Uh, that's thirteen, right? Eighteen. And then that guy dies. I go to one. And then um, shamble trigger. So I gain two. You lose two. Yep. Sixteen. You have chip damage. I guess you have the three damage thing. All your removals are huge. Oh, yeah. Embrace. Yeah. That's like six, I guess. Or Dark Heart this game. Yeah, it's interesting. I actually haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it would have been nice all with right. all the, the removal. <laughs> Play this and then Nova. I uh, use my Forge Bomb. Alright, what's Nova's ability here? Give your creatures plus three, plus three. And I might also activate the Yeti. Uh, I guess no, Yeti's, Yeti's fine. Go ahead. All right. So let's start with a free Necro Vive. Right. That's why I'm supposed to use the Yeti. Um... So it has 12, huh? This guy's dead. And then I'll kill that. <laughs> <laughs> I have the answers. Alright. Um... And to you. I guess I just have to kill that thing. Uh, yeah. Spare it up straight across. Minus three. And then I'll pop the spare. And obviously dead to any removal, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Alright. GG. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja, just free 16. It was good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the thing is, you put a lot of pressure, though. Like, this deck was not bad at all. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, although it could have gone way worse. 
you didn't see Nova Cycle One and no Dark Heart. That's true. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want to yeah. do another? Yeah, let me upgrade my yeah, and... deck if you want to start yeah, doing sure. some Nova stuff. And let me also try one of the other builds. Um, that's got the same purple half, but a different red. I'll just half. I'll just play my good deck. Yeah, do um, it. Should be good enough. Unfortunately, it's a bit fair for this new format, but we'll see how it goes. I get that. <laughs> so I'm just see, like playing two cards a turn over here. Still use Cersei here. So it's the same purple, but um, this one's got a lot more ability to do straight damage to the face with other cards. Um, so it's got like the Mangus, it's got uh, Blitzing Warhound, it's got a Stormcaller, which is, jet. yeah, and the Flame Jet too. So it doesn't have Disintegrate Romantic. though, which is <laughs> pretty huge. Is kind of nice. Yeah, that too. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm interested to see if this one feels any better or worse. Yeah, Collar, collar is pretty sweet. I think when you showed me this deck, the collar was more of an interesting decision. Yes. Yeah, it's tough because you have to yeah. really think about what you're going to do. I, I don't think I'm going to think about it. I'm just going to give you the free spell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially, setup, yeah, exactly. Um, hmm. It's like the spell can't be better than like a three damage and a four eight, right? I don't yeah. Know. Depends on the situation, I suppose. So I yeah. guess we're starting with. This is not an ideal first hand. Or uh, on Forge hand. Um, All removal spells? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I'll start with... Oh, I'm taking color. three here, obviously. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Although, if you have only removal spells... <laughs> I thought you were saying that you were going to let yeah. me just play spells all the time. Yeah, I thought. You, so are you a liar? <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> all right, so then I guess I have to play this here. And it's you. Uh, this just two zombies, but it's quite good here. Yeah, no, it's all there. Uh, where am I supposed to put these? Do you have a? Uh, do you have any um? What are they called? Exalt. Um, let's see. I think there is one, but it's just the um spirit column conclave. What is that? That's the one that gives the yeah. power when you go into the lane. Oh, okay. Into it. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's that's fine. I'll just go there. All right. So these will trade, and you'll take two when it slays. Two, yes. All yeah, right. I also Still had a, a five. I had a grave pack, a dread bolt, and a necrovive in my hand, which were useless. <laughs> yeah, that was a off four hand if I've ever seen one. Uh, okay, I guess these are good. Which one's better? Hmm. Oh, I have that. Probably right to go wide. It's this nonsense. Although you already drew most of it. Try it anyway. Um, play the sky and spray. Yes, let's go. Start here. And then two. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, that card is really hard to kill for this deck, which is not a good sign. Mm. That's really not where you want to be. Okay, so if you get a free 4 8, this thing's dead. And then you take 8, I guess. It doesn't even matter. That's kind of all I got, so. There's a hag. Oof. So Hag was good here, um, but don't have the Nova. Am I willing to take seven? I do have the Nova. Right, um, so yeah. So yeah, I'm just, just debating placement you here. You see my board. Well, the thing is, I think I let the Gloom Reaper get through. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. Just at kill, this point, I just kill, kill the other two free. things. Yeah. And at this point, I think I'd rather this one here. So then I'll play the Rumble Spark Elemental here. So I gain two, you lose two, and then that'll throw this here. I don't think you care about the seven damage at all. Yeah. Alright, so okay. this will take three. 
Here's will take one, this will take four, this will take one, and then I take seven. Other way. Oh, whoops. You just gained seven? Thank you. <laughs> so I think you should be at 45. Yes, I agree. Okay. Now let's see, what am I feeling here? Um, I think we're going to start with this. Ooh, maybe not. No, I think we are. No, I lied again. <laughs> um, so let's play a Spirit Reaver here. I'm going to activate and oh, say nice. zombie. To each creature, that's only me, right? Okay. And then I'll play a free storm or a flame jet. So I'm going to take five, or five each, but yep. I'll gain two, you lose two. Then did you lose the two as well from the dark heart? Yep. All right, cool. And this gets one, two, three, four. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh um, my god. To... Okay. Yeah, if you can get um, it out with Dark Heart, it's just like it's pretty I don't it's it's rough. Yeah. Um what am I doing? I've got a bunch of one for ones, that's just not good enough anymore though. Mm-hmm. I think I still kill the Dark Heart, I guess. Yeah. Five damage. Is that it? Yep. I'll play a group meal, so it's good. <laughs> 12, 7. All right. Um, I'm debating if I want to take 7 or push 3. I think I would have said at this point want to push extra. Yeah. And I then... think that's right. I'll upgrade the Dreadbolt. And then two. Okay, so I'm not winning a long game. I'm also not winning a short game. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play as Flame Jet or not. <laughs> oh, that's um, tough. The thing is, though, it's like... I really needed to draw Dark Heart. It's like, I can't, I can't win this matchup without Dark Heart, basically. Um, oh, and this is, like, this is turn three, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I could... Get a lot of damage in, and then I'm taking. Uh, so I would be taking twenty four. So go to twelve, and you're at twenty seven. Twelve to twenty seven. Okay. If that's a good idea, and I guess I'd rather have a creature. So I can kill two creatures, and then I take 15 plus 5, do 20, 16. This is ridiculous. Right. <laughs> See, the thing is, this, this just puts so much on um, pressure, because... Oh. Alright, kill this. Yeah, that's I'm going to flame jet us both for 5. Should be at 30. So, and that's it. So I'll taking, take 15 to 15. I'm taking 7. These and trade. These trade, yep. No, you really... I don't know. See, the hard part is, like, this it, makes like... you not want to um, deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, you you kill yeah. it, and then it's just like they bring it right back. Yep. It's pretty, pretty nuts. Okay. That's about as good as I can... Hope for, I guess. Set this up. Set it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll play my <laughs> own. Jeez. Uh huh. Um. Then I will. I think we're doing this first. So I'll start with a necro vive. So this gets four. Um, so you I have uh three. You, you need a free three. spell for that, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have a free spell. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I was looking at this. This is what I meant to play. Yeah, sure. So okay. we each take seven. So that's... I go to five. And then I gain three and you lose three. Yep. And then that gain its life. I was like, I knew I was doing something. I was looking at something weird. <laughs> Not to telegraph Alrighty. what I'm doing after. 
This goes back uh, here. I probably can't play around removal ever again, so I'm just not going to. So, I'm going to activate. Oops. Um, I think I have to try to kill this thing. So fortunately, it goes here. And it's just so bad. I uh, lightning spark the dark heart and drain you for two. So I take. And this pump up. That's all I got. Interesting. So I might actually change my plan. Although, oh yeah, and I'm off forge. This is the last play. So yeah, I think this is. Yeah, fine Oh, so, you just have it on the board. Yeah, so oops. I just kill that. Yeah, you have it on the board. So I was supposed to kill this thing, I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you kill this, well, it I'm comes not winning back. This game regardless. Yeah. But it just background. comes back. Yeah, I had no plays, actually. Oh, my. Oh, no, that's not true. I could have Vampiric Demon here. Oh, yeah, the Vampiric Demon might have done it. Because what's then, its uh, total? <laughs> yeah, I could have played this here, but what am I even doing then? I guess yeah. I have two 1 1 sprites or whatever. It's not really going to get me anywhere if I have this. Yeah. And then your guy's at 10. This is I still guess, at 10. Yeah, and then technically, if you play the and demon there, five. I just play the Mangus. So I do four to that, and then I play the Mangus instead of the Necro Vibe. Yeah, that'll work. Kill that, too. Yep. Yeah. Oof. So yeah, the, the thing is, if you get the Dark Heart and the Nova Elementalist, it's just like it's so hard to keep up with. Yeah, it's uh, literally. Do you want to run this one back? Oh. Yeah, I suppose. I don't think I have anything better. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it one more time, and then maybe I'll, I'll take salmon. Or <laughs> I don't think I have any decks that can compete with this, but um, I know um, Harbor Nude has pretty good selection. Alright. Give this one more shot. But I, I just don't see myself beating that card so it's just like i need like, to draw a decent draw and have you not draw that yeah that's the thing where it's like you gotta hope that they don't hit it almost Ugh, i don't like going first though yeah <laughs> you have way too many removal spells to go yeah, first yeah i agree um i think we gotta start with this and see what you play so I'll play an iceland mingus and two five three that's too bad. I think I have to play a creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Um, all right, that worked out real so well. Bad. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a... Pyromantic Specimen, so I'll deal 2 damage to the Summoning Colossus, and then I'll activate to deal 1 damage to it, and then Slay Trigger, so you take 2. Okay. And then 2. Save this for 2. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so I'm taking 3 more, looks like. Yeah, so these will trade, and then yeah, you'll I'll do the 1 to you off the Specimen. Okay. See, I always keep forgetting. So I move the end oh. turn button down, and then every time I look for it at the bottom and it's not there, and I'm like, oh no. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, you could just oh, drag it. That's the okay. thing where it's like, I hate it up top, but then I just like. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. On yeah. On top. But it's every time you reset the mod, it, it goes away. Okay. Guess I'm supposed to go here. Eight for two. No. <laughs> now I can't use my specimen trigger. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Live let's... the dream turn one. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. I feel like if you have removal, you have it. But... I'm just debating where I want to do this. I think I have to play this. Hmm. 
Maybe I don't. Maybe I do this first. So if I do this here first, I throw that here. Yeah, I guess that's the plan. I'm going to play Nova Elemental. No Actually, Dark Heart. Let's All do right. it here. And then okay. I'll play the Rumble Spark Energy. Do you have any aggressive guys? I'll just throw it here. Okay. Actually, no, let's go here. All right, and then two. Looks like no aggressive. Actually, no, we'll go in here. Actually, I lied one more time. There. This is where I want it. More? <laughs> All right. This is a this is an interesting one, but yeah, I think that's where I want it. Okay. You don't want to put it under specimen. <laughs> well, I already took the two off. Definitely of the not. I won't, won't do that. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's fine. It's um, fine. Although when you're off forge and you could block out and just be like, "All right, I'll do my one specimen ping and flip it," mm -hmm. it could be kind of fun. I guess I'm just supposed to play some zombies. That's probably better than it. Better than an eight two. All right. So then uh, this also gets plus two. Yeah. Right. All right. Is that it? Yep. So I think I still just want to play this here. And cycle one, turn two. If I do this, that dies. This flips. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Yep. Ugh. And so I'm taking six. Um, this will take three. Yours will take three. This will take four. This dies, so we have a shamble trigger. So I gain one, you lose one. And then I'll flip this. Let's go. Anything. I think I want it here. Right. If I do it here, at least it's closer. If it dies again, I could flip it again. I think I just so let's put it. I would just uh, yeah. think about it as like a removal spell right now. So which one would you rather remove? Because you got a yeah. coin flip of hitting Dark Heart next turn. Exactly. And you, you don't even necessarily need Dark Heart if Chandler survives till combat. That's true. Or, or oh, I guess, I guess he would. Yeah, never mind. That wouldn't work. Let's start with. I think this for that Which deals with that. Yes, yeah, so I guess I'll replace the specimen mm. with a blitzing warhound. Oh, and I'll nice. deal three to the demon. That's too bad. I didn't want that to happen. And then I will pass to you. Ability. That's kind of a nice one. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm still going to put this here. And then I'll flame jet us. I'll take three, take seven. Yep. Okay, go ahead. This guy gets bigger. I think it's got to be that now. So I'll start with a Varix Embrace hitting your Dark Heart for four. I gain four. Yep. This will get four. Then I will also Flame Jet us. All right. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, okay. So. Fortunately, you did kill my beast earlier. So I got the soul reap. I'm just going to soul reap this thing, so. Yeah. I will gain five, you take two. And this guy gets bigger, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. 
That's all and I then got. I got a shamble trigger too when you kill that. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So and these I'll will trade. Need a billion here. So one shamble there. Yeah. And then, then you take six. I, I take twelve. Six. So I'm at twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine. Right. Twenty nine. <laughs> no, this is going well, all things considered. <laughs> yeah, you did not hit Dark Heart, did you? That I was did kind not. of a big deal. But see, that's the thing, though. It's like sometimes you're not going to hit a card. Yeah, right. You can't get them all, I guess. Um, don't like going first here because I'm probably going to take like 16. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Do I need to play one of these spells? Let's hit you for three. Yeah. That over there. All right, set it. Yep. Huh. I feel like I probably have to just use this on Dark Heart. Okay. And then let's go with... So if I do that, we know what that's going to touch. Um, I think it's going to happen either way. I guess I might have messed up there. Should have done that in the other order. This is interesting. Because I think I just have to start with this. And we'll see what you do for your second play. So I'll start with the Necrovive. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, I definitely messed up. I played these in the wrong order. Oh, no. Um, All right, and then to you. Oh, well, I guess I'll play it anyways. What do we got? A shambling specter. All right. Actually, let me, actually, let me do something else. Maybe. Yeah. I think I actually do have a better play. On it. I should probably just do this. That's not a bad call. <laughs> yeah, because then it just reanimates <laughs> and stays. Um, All right, and uh, do I want to play some one fours? So I probably only get one block. I guess I do. Play some one force. Now that I have all the room. Hmm. Okay, I'm done. So let's see how much damage I'm willing to take here. Because I can do that. Get rid of one of those. Um, I think this is the move. So next turn, I just immediately kill. So I'll play the level two Nova Elementalist. So I could activate two damage, two damage to an enemy creature for oh, each elemental okay. I have in play. So it's just two. I could do two. Um, and I think so. Next turn, I got a four two. Yeah, that'll just come right back. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So if I do this, I kill the first one. I can two, nine seven five. Am I going for the vampiric is the question, or am I going to just try to kill the other one of these next turn? So I'm going to activate, and let's go to the... Oh, it's an activate. Yeah, so it's an that activate, is, yeah. That is good, okay. Especially Jesus. if you have more than one elemental. So there's a couple, like, if I were yeah. to draw the unstable wow. vortex next turn, I could just go, like, four. Why does um, this need to be so good? Oh, I know. So if I do that to seven, and then I play another elemental, I could do another four to it so the thing is i don't like doing it to the vampiric demon yeah probably not just I... get to kill one of the minions yeah i think i gotta do it just two there okay because that next turn i could untap and kill all right so this will take one i'm yeah. taking eight to eleven yep and then your guy takes four invincible guy That's pretty solid here, actually. 
So let's start with so that's two, that's two, that's a mage. Um I'll do three to you. This will die. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the Mangus here. Mm. I'll activate, I'll deal two to the fiend, which deals three to you. Yeah, at twenty-nine. And then I will I'll activate and deal two to this. Okay. And then two. Clears. Let's play this here. Oof. Go ahead. Let's see. What do I want to deal with? That's probably not worth it. <laughs> That'll put that there. We'll deal three. Not a huge fan of the position I'm in. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm not too sad about where I'm at here. So I'll play a Stormcaller here. Ooh, I gotta think about this. I, I assume I'm taking three, um, but it's my next play. Just hit that. And then it would be at nine. I'm just gonna take the three. All right. Obviously, because I'm yeah. If if I give you a free spell, I'm taking even more damage because I'm not blocking this. Yeah. Uh. Okay. All right, and then two. So I get to kill one of your guys. Pretty sure it has to be the seven two. So I'm taking eighteen. No, nineteen. So I've got a seven. And I have first play. Oh, I can't flame jet then. Oh, that's brutal. Wait. Oh yeah, I can. It's just lethal. Okay. It's gonna be at nine. Flame jet's lethal. Okay. So I have to assume I'm not getting flame jet. Um Yeah, okay. So lightning spark this thing and drain you for three. Right, so I'm and that's seven. my play. Yeah, I'll take... 19? 19 to 10. Oh, right, I'm at 10. I forgot about the Dark Heart Drain. This guy's dead. And this takes three. And, this and we takes have this three. fight in the middle. Okay. Oof, this is close. Yeah, I guess I got a coin flip to win off the top, and then probably some other outs. Yeah, there's <laughs> the Flame Jet. All right, so yeah, there I'm taking 10. Whew. That was a good one. Yeah, the dark heart is just so important. So this yeah, time, I just saw the dark heart. You didn't. So yep. it was like the reverse. <laughs> yeah, but this was still tight. Yeah, I don't think I ever. You just played that one, and then you was there the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I killed him there, you get him back for free with this thing. So it's just like <laughs> true. Yeah. Yeah, because at There's... that point, I think I would just have to grave pact. Your dark heart. If you don't flame jet, I just need to draw these. And you didn't kill my dark heart immediately. Ever. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, the dreadbolt I never leveled up. The grave pack that yeah. I didn't hit. That was close, but that's the thing where it's like it's not unbeatable. Um, I think that yeah. if you're playing against a deck that's gaining life or, or or doing life gain, it's like that could definitely keep up. Um, but it's just like there's so much value here with the rumble sparks is gaining for every time and it's like do you want to put the effort in to kill it or do you want to try to push and see if you could outrace it um, i don't think you can try to outvalue it really yeah unless but, you can kill it cleanly somehow but yeah because uh, at that point like definitely the dark heart there was huge because yeah like like the the life you gained definitely helped inch out there um, but yeah did, being able to flame jet for the, the win Especially because you hadn't seen it yet, so there was a 50-50 chance you were going to hit it. So, yeah. Yeah, that was solid. All right. Um, you want to play? You want to take in? Newt? I guess. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> so we can play other stuff, too. Um, I actually have a minion-based deck, too, if you want to try against that. 
Uh, minions versus minions. Let's go. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So I guess someone will someone else will have to host. I think. Or no, I guess I can just reload it. And let's see. The 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 probably also promote someone to. So the interesting thing here is that um, I feel like the Rumble Spark Elementalist deck can definitely struggle against life gain, um, especially if you're not gaining as much life, um, just because like you're kind of living on the edge a little bit i think yeah but i'm not sure which one do you feel like um felt a little better you know what i mean like in terms of I the first, the first one, one was but yeah really hard to say but that's the gut check is the first one just because um it had more uh, ability to chain spells and it had to disintegrate and yeah i agree so what was yeah, let me see if i can look at the list nutty. I feel like the red didn't do a whole lot last time, except um, just the specimen. Had... Basically, is what you saw. Because again, and there's a couple ways to like proc your the uh... the ice mage or whatever was pretty good. But yeah, oh yeah, stormcaller is quite good. Um... All right, so this one is a minion base deck. Oh, you have stormcaller in your other deck too. I do. Yeah, I, I think the first one's probably better. Now you have to win tournaments with that deck. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely have to try. So what are you giving up? You're giving up Ice Lance Magus, Flame Jet? Yeah, Flame Jet and Magus are the two. You really don't need Flame Jet. You don't. It's nice. Yeah, I think though. the first one's way better. Yeah, I think so too. Just are you just can... using Cersei every time? I guess oh, you probably are. This is Betrayer, Lazy, and Rain. Yeah, so unfortunately, though, the, technically this um, purple deck is silver. So I'm just doing it for fun, just to see how I feel. Um, but I really was, my goal was to play Lazy, and Rain, Nursery, and Biologist all in the same deck. Yeah. So many council. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, this one doesn't have council. <laughs> Just uh, hope you don't get paired against a tinker, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I think that'll just completely destroy this deck. No comment. Oh, uh, let's see what you got right here. Let, let me guess. <laughs> oh, look, a venerable tinker. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to completely destroy this one. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's well, incredible. You can maybe see if you can win without minions. That's or true. You just cross your fingers. And... Yeah, so I think if that's the case, I've got to. Throw out the armored decay of sword and just throw out a body. Throwing out a body, huh? Yeah, it's not a minion, so good luck with that tinker. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the funny thing with this deck is that a lot of the cards in the green half are set one cards. So it's like it oh, really okay. feels like I'm playing a set one deck with a Glowhive Nursery versus anything else. I'm just going to play the Behemoth here. What do you guys think of the Behemoth? Because I think this card is really strong. It can be good with the right setup. So in this case, my Nova has the additional health that yeah. makes it really good. And then there's um, the Chalice that also, as long as you can buff health pretty effectively, yeah. I can see it being worthwhile. But I'll Dreadbolt it, so we don't have to worry about it this time. Okay. <laughs> and then to you. Well, in that case, uh, Isolate. Yeah. All right, this feels just like the games where I was playing with Madugu, <laughs> where we both ended multiple turns with just nothing on the board. Clean board. Interesting. I am on the play. I think we'll start with Talison right. and go to you. I will start with a. Low hive nursery. So we're getting a 4 4. Actually, do I want to throw it in front of the Talisan? Well, let's do it in the middle. Force you to tinker right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then to you. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and activate Talisan. So go ahead and play another card. I think we're gonna just put animate it. I have a minion now. Uh, my free play from Talison is gonna be 
Soothing Reveler. So go ahead and play a spell. And that gain too. Oh, Venom Chalice to give this minus three. Okay. Uh, Bulwark Bash is going to be my spell, so I do two damage to that guy. And my actual play, <laughs> after all of that... That was awesome. ...is going to be a Transcendent Biologist. Yeah. So I'll get another one, and my guys get plus two, plus two. So how many spells total was that for no apparent reason? <laughs> um, I know I played uh, two, and you played one. One. All right, so I think I just Cersei's call here. <laughs> so we're board. for debating if I want to replace here or just so this is going here, this is going here. The thing is it doesn't kill the board. Your board stays for sure. Yeah. Um, so this will be board, a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. So your thing still lives. So I think mm -hmm. I'll make a 3-6. Okay. Oops, wrong direction. Now what care is he killing it? Right. So this guy dies. And then goes down to 2. And down to 1 here. All right. That was interesting. That was We both like dumped <laughs> our hands. All right, I'll take this. Um, just in case you have anything, I'll start with it. So Elysian Rain. Okay. So this will become a 5-5, five, because five, it gets plus 2, plus 2, and plus 1, plus 1. Sure. Tinker. Not quite. Um, it's kind of weird to do this, but I want to redact that guy. Yeah. Game two. Um, I think what I'm going to do here, I'll throw out a stout necromancer. Sure. I'll activate it, and I'm going to hit, dang, is it Scourge Hydra or Vine last year? Um... Thing is, all the minions get big, but Hydra's good. I think I'm gonna hit Vine Lash. Let's see. I think with all the things that let me play free spells, I think the Vine okay. Lash will be nice. All right, and then two. Thanks. Glow hype. No. Does <laughs> <laughs> really matter where he is? He's a four four as well. All right. So you'll take four. Yep. Back down to fifty. Three there. My guy dies there. My guy dies there. Uh, I will point out that Tinker was in my first hand. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right, that feel that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> I think you should. Uh, did you play the Tinker? Probably just no. should have played it anyway. Yeah, I think knowing what I have, it's in here... it's such a huge auto win card in cycle three. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. We'll find out. Um. Okay, I'm going to start with Mad Little Winter, so I get a Nexus Core. I can go right there. That's solid. And what's the other one do? It's, um... Oh, that's solid. Gizmos for days. Wow. <clears throat> huh. So what do I want to do about this? Um... I guess technically... might be interesting. That's going to die, though. Yeah, just do this. Off the ledge. Um, yeah, because that's just going to die anyway. So let's throw out a Cutthroat Reaper. I'm going to destroy this zombie to kill your Lewinter. Goodbye, Lamenter. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a little bit of a race here. I'm going to transcend a biologist. 
get a wisp in this lane. And also my minions get plus three plus three. Oh, that's so good with biologist. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I would have not oh. thought of that interaction. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. That's I, why I, love I that. these two together, because I was like, oh, I can make minions. So Alright, and then two So you've played one spell, just the Nexus core, right? Uh just the Nexus core, yep. Alright, so then I will play a Cersei's call for two. Get the brutes. Alright. Okay, so I'll take seven. These will trade. This will die, this will go to one. And then both of those that deal damage will get three attack. Yep. Hmm. Dang, that is not at the level I would like it to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to hear that. I still think... That's the right move here. So I'm going to start by activating. Makes sense. I think I hit Twin Strength. This seems like it's an interesting card. Um, and then let's go with... So I'm on Forge. Don't like... Potentially getting rid of this, but I think that's the move. It's just one toughness. This is just going to die. So I'm, I'm playing a glow hive nursery. I'm just debating where it's going. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll do the glow hive here. Okay. Um, so I play two wisps. I guess I don't have to play it here. Yeah, I'm not going to play it there. I'm just going to go Wisp and Wisp. And then when I play Minions this lane, it gets plus four, plus four. And then I'll pass. Okay. How do we want to do this? I think we just play Tiles in here. Okay. And pass to you. Huh. So I think we're gonna... Yeah, I think that's what we need to do here. So I'm gonna activate. I'm going to... Replace with a brute. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to play a Lysian Rain. Replace this with a Wisp. I give all my minions plus three plus three. Okay. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, but you have the Talisman to basically block couple things yeah a little bit of it um I think that tells an activation is actually good unless yeah i want to have to it's just a matter of it's like creature doesn't really get anywhere yeah mm. <laughs> remove a creature if i really want to but do i care I would activate Talisman before removing a creature. Yeah, because it forces me to do something first, so then you could react. Yeah, right? so let's go ahead and activate Talisman. Um, I was so thinking that... about what plays I won from Talisman. That's true. So, yeah, it, it might it might be better to just not activate at all, too. I'm not yeah. sure. So I guess uh, before, I, I before you do, so you do want to activate? Yeah, 100%. Here. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do... Let's do it over here. So I'm gonna play a Venom Chalice, and I guess I'll give this minus six. 
Cool. Although if you play the other glow hive now, it's just like you play a creature right back in. So I assume glow hive's coming. Um, I wish it was. That's not. So we're going to have to, I guess I could save Talus in there and reduce damage. Okay, so that kind of determines. So I'm going to have to, I think I go there with Shardbound Vexer. Uh -huh. And then, do I save Talus or not? I don't. So I'll activate and give my guy plus four and give the eleven four wisp minus four. Uh, move there. Yeah. And then I think we've redacted this last wisp in that game three. That's good stuff. You definitely manage that pretty well. So, so you're taking nine. This is yep. losing two attack. This is taking eight. And Towson dies. And yours took three, right? One, two. There's five, right? Three. Oh, five. Uh, yeah, you're five, right. yep, you're right. Okay. Okay, we can handle this a little bit better, I think. I think we keep him there for now. <laughs> yeah, we'll start with Beveler. So you play a spell, and I get to play a spell. I also gained it. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Talos and Reveler. It's <laughs> a lot. A lot of gambling. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I've got to do this one first. Just in case. So you still have your thing. Oh, no, you've used your ability, right? No, I used it. All right. So let's go. Yeah, I guess we'll do a free Botanimate, and I'll Botanimate the Vexer. Okay. Oh, wait, hold yeah. on. <laughs> I'm going to give you a thing there. All right, I'm going to do the the that, the Reveler. Yeah. Sorry. I was like, yeah. immediately realized, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what have I done? All right, so this game is two attack, and then two. Oh, I would have just accepted that. <laughs> like, yep, this works. <laughs> Okay. So you still got your free spell. Yep. I think I'm going to Bulwark Bash. I'm going to give this guy five armor and then deal five there. Yeah. Then to you. All right, so this is my first actual play. <laughs> so I'll go... I think it's got to be this. It's... Yeah, I'll start with a Dreadbolt on the Vexer. Okay. And then two. Did not see the card that I want to see today. Good. That might make me take more damage, but I don't want to take more damage. So do I care about the nine damage? It's fine. I was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, though, because we're both like completely filling the board over and over. Mm -hmm. Can't really save my guy, either.
guess I can accept that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to uh, stabilize that guy. This one? Yep. He's 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I'm just going to move it back. And I, okay. I don't know why. I was just too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just done it down. But I was like, That's oh okay. yeah, I'm going to put it in the discard and bring it back. But no, that doesn't work yeah, like that. Whatever. Alright, that it? Yep, that's it. So I'll play a Stout Necromancer here, which is going to get plus 6 health. Yep. Actually, hold on, maybe I do it here and just hope. Yeah, I'm going to do it here, because then if I get the other Necromancer, I could give it extra health. Oh, jeez, okay. Alright, so I'm going to do the Stout Necromancer here. I'll activate. So we're in turn 3. Most of my spells, I think, are level three at this point, so I really don't <laughs> care about Spite Maiden. Um, I've only played a little bit of like free spells. I think just a few. Maybe I just hit the Twin Strength or the Scourge Hydra. Um, in this match, I think I want to hit. So you are removing a lot of my stuff, so maybe the Scourge Hydra is a little better. Surprise! Next to Score hasn't flipped yet. Me too, to be honest. So then that's what I got. So let's just take them five. These are trading. And then you think nothing. Huh. So how are we starting this? I guess technically I can level a few things here, um, or level something just to get it higher. I think the answer is going to be, this could be a little more interesting in, in this match. So let's put it, I'll put a Camouflage Fiend here, I'll activate, I'll okay. upgrade it. All the way, okay. And then two. We finally got something again, so we'll just tinker that guy. Yeah. All right, let's see. Do this first and then that okay with that this will be two yeah I think that's the move so I'm going to start with a dread bolt on the tinker Sure. And then I'll play a free Cersei's Call. Okay. That's the second spell. So we're going one here, one here. So this mm -hmm. one's going to get plus four, plus four. And then two. A lot of damage. We're going to have to flip that right away to get Oak Father. Uh... Yeah. And then I'm going to reject that one. Nice. Right, so, so I you're take taking 10. 10. Down to 35. And this guy takes 2. And... Okay. Now we're cooking. Start with Reveler, I get to play a spell, and I gain five. Nice. It's going to be Glow Hive. So I get Whiffs there, Whiffs there. This one becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Activate Nexus Core because I have three minions. Mm -hmm. Now I have Nexus Core Prime. Good stuff. <laughs> That's it for me. Now let's see, how do we want to do this? So I can do 
that. Or that. Then that. I'm off forge right now. I think that's what I want to do still. So I'm going to play a Cutthroat Reaper. Okay. I will destroy this to hit your Oak Father. By Oak Father. And then two. I think I'm okay at that. I'm going to replace this guy with the Uteridon Mauler. Yeah, good stuff. Give him four attack and breakthrough. It's coming in for eight. Um, yeah, I still need to play this while it's available. So I'm going to play the Bowhive Nursery here. So I get to play three minions. Or up to three wisps. So I'll go one, two, um, I feel like I don't want to waste that. Yeah, because I guess I could throw it here and then activate if I really wanted. So this will get plus, this will go to 10. I think I just saved that. Um, the Mauler, am I willing to take the damage or do I want to just keep it with the Brute? Um, I think I'm okay with you getting something plus two, plus two. Okay. Um, but I'm debating where I put this wisp. I think I'm going to replace the fiend mm -hmm. with the wisp. So this one gets plus two, plus two. This one gets plus four, plus four. And this one gets plus six, plus six. <sighs> right, so this is two brutes. Your thing is still going to live. I'm taking four, and then you're just going to give your reveler plus two, plus two, which is fine. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Okay. All right, so this will take six. This will die. Yours will take six. Five. I'll take four. Two, and plus two, plus two here. All right. So if I go there, I think I'm willing to start with this. Yeah, I guess there's no reason not to. So I'll Venom Chalice to give the Reveler minus nine. Okay, and then I get to throw a Gizmo somewhere. Yes. Um, I throw it in there, right. and it gets plus four, plus four. All right, and then two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Energy Surge, mm -hmm. so I will get another Gizmo, and I upgrade a card. The other Gizmo can go there. It gets plus two, plus two, and then I will upgrade... Um... I think it's going to be upgrading Isolate. All right. And to you. All right, so I think we're going that first. And I think they go there, and those go across. All right. So I'm going to activate here and get two Brutes. Sure. So I'm, I'm going to end up replacing my entire board, so I'm just going to remove all these right now. Okay. So I'll go... Brute. Actually, yeah. Maybe we'll go brute brute. So then that's that. So I think that's the move. Hold on, let me just look. So if I do those two, then I do these five, nine, ten, eleven. I think I'm still pushing a lot either way. 
So let's do it like this. I'll spread the damage. So I'll put these two out. Okay. Um, so this will get plus six health and just destroy it. Mm -hmm. And this one will get plus four, plus four. Okay. Then I'm going to play Elysian Rain. Okay. So, so plus five, plus five. Plus, plus. So this one's getting nine health. Okay. Yeah, these each get plus five, plus five. Oops. This one also gets plus two, plus two. Mm -hmm. And this one already, this one just goes plus five, five. Yep. And this one gets plus 11, plus 11. Yep. Alright. Our boards are huge. I'm gonna play Transcendent Biologist. <laughs> oh yeah, this is crazy. Plus five, plus five to all my minions. Let's just put ten and ten, because he's a minion. Nexus core is really cool. Eleven eleven. Alright. Okay. So this is the two. Yep, so my guy will die. This will go to five. My guy will die, and I'll have a trigger on the stack. This will go to one. My guy will die there. This one's going to go to seven. And two here. This is going to go to ten. And die, and then I get a gizmo. And it has to be in a different lane, so I think I'm going to put it into this lane. Get right. plus six. Or plus four, plus four. Oof. That is awkward. But uh, usable. Okay. Yeah, let's just play the start to play Behemoth and call it good. All right. How are we doing this? Um. Two. This first, then I do that over itself. Yeah, I guess that's where we'll start. So I'm going to replace this one sure. with a biologist, <laughs> which I'll play the wisp over itself, and then all my yeah. minions will get plus two, plus two. And two. I think I'm just going to accept that 13 damage, unfortunately. Um, and that does change my play a little bit. If I do that, will that be more interesting? I think this is the interesting play. And all my creatures get plus five, plus five. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're in cycle four. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> 17. This goes up to 14. And this is seven. I think that's it for me. All right, let's see. So I have to, I think, do it this way, which means I'm actually not going to be able to deal 13 to you. <laughs> I like to hear that. So, yeah, I think this is the smartest way to do it, though, because then next turn I also untap with this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to replace this with Stout Necromancer. Yep. Gross. Okay. I'm going to activate the Necromancer. I'm likely grabbing the Biologist. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the only thing in my yard, so that is the only thing I could grab. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'll play it, um, give my minions plus three, plus three, and I replace itself. Yep. I 
Okay, um, so this still works out. Debating if I also want to use my ability or not. I think the answer is maybe actually, because then I at least kill your other thing. So right now, these will trade, these will trade. Your thing will go to three health, mine will die. Mm -hmm. Your thing will live and mine will die. I think that's fine, because I want to save this for when I have an empty board. And then I Makes can sense. use that, use the biologist. Not ideal, but I think this is the move. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right, so trade. Okay. Trade. Um, and down to three. And I think you have a slay ability as well. I do have a plus two, plus two on a creature, yeah. And down to two. And you get I think gizmo. I also have a gizmo. <laughs> I think I'm going to give that gizmo plus two plus two and yeah. get a gizmo here. And that's plus four plus four. Yeah. <laughs> All the triggers. Now let's see. I think the biologist comes first. Yeah, I definitely should have played that differently. Um, I agree, because if I did the Vine Lash, then the Necromancer, then the Vine Lash, I would have cleared your lanes a lot better. Mm -hmm. I got greedy with the Biologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely the right move if I would have done it the other way around. Um, but I think what I do here... I play this first... And I strike your big boy. Yeah. I'll play the fiend. I'll activate. I will vine lash here. So I'll have it strike your Gizmo. Okay. And then I'll pass to you. Um, I flew too close to the sun with that biologist play. Because it really didn't get me much <laughs> either. <laughs> I'm going to play Talison here. Yeah. Depending how I want to do this. Um, I think it will be more entertaining to activate Talison. And play Salvage Virtuoso here. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Um, Bring it to you. Yeah, I think at this point this is the right move because then this can buff, kill, and then I just play my thing. So I'm pushing at this point. So I'm going to play a Cutthroat Reaper. Okay. I'm going to destroy the Fiend. Mm hmm. I'll kill the Talisan. Goodbye, I'm Talisan. Give, I'm debating which one I'm giving plus six plus six. Um, whichever one I prefer you to. I think it's going to be this. That makes sense. And I think I will activate here. I play a mindless zombie minion and give my minions plus six. Sure. At this point, I feel like I've exhausted my minion supply <laughs> otherwise. So I'll play it here. It's mm. getting plus six plus six. So it's getting at plus twelve plus six. Okay. And then two. Can't deal with that as easily, which kind of sucks. Could do that. Do that. That's not as entertaining. So I just have to accept the fact that I'm just not going to kill it. Okay. Mad the Winter. 
Yeah, so what's he do on this? Destroy one uh, of your minions to deal six damage to an enemy creature. Yep, so I'm going to destroy Salvador Shuoso because it's a minion. Yeah. So now um, you I get to get a gizmo here gizmo and a gizmo there. there. And gizmo there. Uh, plus two, plus two, and six damage there. That's solid. Wow. His level two is good. Yeah. All right, so this is taking six. Mm -hmm. My guy I'm dies. taking five. Uh, you're taking three. Ooh. Okay, stop right. with health. These will trade. These trade. This will My take... guy dies. Yours takes six. Okay. We're isolating that guy. For how much? 18. 18. I'm tired of him. <laughs> Alright, so then we will... Actually, I didn't show you anything. Show me what? <laughs> um, I think here I start with this. Gain some life. I'll play the Mauler game too. Or not okay. the Mauler, the there. And then right. you go. Yeah, I'm going to have to push damage no matter what here. Mm -hmm. um, so, because of that, I'm going to play my Glow Hive. Yeah. Uh, so, six, six, two, two, and all the way up to an eight. Damaging creature. Okay, is that it? Yep. Alright, I'll score Tydra to kill the wisp there. Makes sense. Alright, so I'm taking six. I'm taking fifteen. Twenty five. That's Oof. Dang. Yeah. That was crazy on your side. I like I think I like your deck better than I like mine. <laughs> um this Nexus Core Prime was so cool. Yeah, some of the combinations with it. I have another minion-based deck with this Nexus Core Prime. Okay. Um, that's probably a little crazier. Although I don't have Nova's Judgment with it. So. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've actually opened a Nexus Core Prime yet. Um, Glow Hive Nursery, though, is such a good card. It's yeah. one of those things where... It can just keep filling your board with that Elysian Rain and Biologist and whatever else. It's just like oh, yeah. you can get so much advantage off of these three. Um, I personally have time, I think, for one more and then I gotta go eat dinner because um, I know my girlfriend's waiting. Um, Alright, load up. And then if you want, you guys could take over after this. Um, sure. Sure. I guess I'll turn on my stream during that time too. Oh yeah, that 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 makes sense. Yeah, I'm taking right. over Mundungu's whole day. Oop. Did I go on the wrong side? <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm playing this. So this was actually my sealed deck from um, when I did the release tournament. And so I'm gonna give it a a go. Oh, this one. Robots. And Mothral. Okay. This might be a little weird. So I think this blue half is one that I really want to pair with something. Um, this purple half is not the right pair for it, I don't think. But it's, I think, a place to start. Just because it's already, like, paired. Hmm. But the the blue half with all the um, exalts... Oh, as well as yeah. the Apocamancer, the Laboratory, all that kind of stuff. It's this one was fun. Um, the screen one is solid. Let's see what. Oh, is this the same blue? Yep, same blue. <laughs> That's so good. All right, so I'm first. Oof. I guess it's 
not ideal. I'll start with an Indomitable Fiend and then pass. Okay. Uh, summoning Council. So we will get a Wisp there and a Wisp. I don't really care about the Indomitable Fiend right now. There. All right, so then I guess I'll do the Varnus Pact. I'll get the zombie here and I'll kill the one in the end. Okay. I'll still play Weezing right here. Oh, nice. Um, I'll just trade so, there. Maybe I'll trade you take four. On the play. I'll start with you, Terra Charger. Yeah. Hmm. Guess let's... I'll start with the Rune Scarred Pit over here to get a Brute. <laughs> there it is. And then two. I think I'm going to play a little aggressive here. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I guess my they're both going to die anyway, so... I'll play a Cold Heart Brute. Um, because I have an Exalt in play, I'll play my other zombie. My yep. other zombie's got plus one. So we got a trade and a trade, and I take four. Yep. I guess huh, I've never actually used this yet. We'll see. I'll, I'll start with this. I guess I'll start with an apocamancer. Okay. Then two. We're just gonna turn him off. <laughs> yeah. And defender. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. At least it protects itself now this turn. <laughs> So do I just do this instead? Yeah, I feel like this card's just not worth it, even though it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not I'm not risking it. Or I'm not it's not worth it for me right now. I plan on building assassin to give adjacent creatures to attack. And two. Healthy boy. Hey. I can't deal much with the stealth. I think we're gonna put Mad Winter there and get Nexus Cord there. Yeah. But I will take six. And I'll take four. my guy dies. There it is. Summoning nice. Council. Get Oak Father and a Wisp and turn over Nexus Core. That's good stuff. Mm. Hmm. So if I do that. Oof. I don't like what you're putting down. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few creatures. Um, I think I gotta save this. This is a tough choice here because. I want to be able to replace some stuff. <laughs> I also want to play some of this stuff. I think my choice is pretty obvious for me. I think I've got to start with this, then play that. 
probably. Maybe not. Maybe it's actually just this first. Well, you know what? I haven't played this card yet. But then I means I don't get to do one of these. So I could give something for armor and battle. I don't like this hand. <laughs> it's got a little of everything, but not what I wanted to do. So not I the think. right things. So if I do that, and then that, it's just not really what I want. I think I have to play this card. Um, then you just do your other thing. That. And this doesn't do what I need. I think I just have to start with this. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start with the Varnus Pact. So I'll go to Brute. Yeah. Minus four, minus four to something. With the Brute. Or minus, yeah, minus four, minus four. Here. And I'll give. We'll do it here. No, this is fine. Okay. I'll give the Oak Father minus four, minus four. Actually, no, this is where I want it. Okay. All right. Then to you. Does uh, affect my play? Um, yeah, I still think I force seal here. Um, I gain three, and then two, 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 two. Don't think I'm actually going to activate my Nova's Might here. All right. And that's mm -hmm. it for me. So let's see right now. These are going to trade. This is going to die. Not going to get to take advantage of the Apocamancer. Although if I do it like that, I get to deal some damage. I think I'm okay doing it this way. I just hate how I didn't get to play like three of the cards in this hand. <laughs> but what I do here is I play a cold heart brute so I give all my zombies plus two or my other zombies plus two attack yep and I will activate my ability to give this force shield in battle so you'll take 11 these will trade I take 4 down to 32 and there's five. Three. There. And I live one. with one. Rather him die, but whatever. <laughs> hmm. Three things I want to play. This card's just so good if I but I'm at a point where I don't think I could play it. Although I don't wanna replace that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Um, no we can't. So I'm gonna start with See, I don't like. I almost don't like that this lived. <laughs> <laughs> In hindsight, now I'm just like, oh, what have I done? Because it might potentially, yeah. Because if you have another Rune Scar Pit, potentially um, replace it. I still feel like this is probably what I have to throw out. This just gets too strong later in the game. I'm going to play a lab. I think I'm going to do it here. Okay. And I'm going to play the gizmo here. And then two. 
I am debating how I want to play this, I think. I can either be aggressive or I can be not as aggressive. Um I think I just want to level this guy. So he's going to go there. All right. And to you. Am I going to play this? No, I'm not. I'm going to, even though it's really strong, I think I'm going to do is replace the gizmo with the fiend. So I'll get a gizmo here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pass. That will live. So it just lives naturally. Six three. Would you rather play that or that? That doesn't win me any trades. No, actually, it does. Okay. Uh, Bulwark Bash. Give Mad the Winter two armor. Two damage there. Yeah. Hold it. Two plus two, two plus two. I think I have to do that. Yeah. All right, so these will trade. Yep. I'll take eight. Mm -hmm. This and will die and dies. come back. So just... And I take two. Yep. 30 each. Okay. Can't do too much about that. I don't really care about that guy, but he's there. I think I'll just play my salvage retrio sun past you. I think I got a. Oh, this is a solid card. Am I willing to do this? This can be just on the board and good. Yeah, why not? Okay. One, two. I'm okay with that. Antis, activate. <laughs> plus two, plus two. That'll do it. All right, let's see. How do I want to do this now? I was not ready for a Mantis. I should have probably looked at your deck in a little more detail. <laughs> I see the Fort Seal and the Mantis in here. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. So those are going to trade... Yours is going to live. This isn't worth it. This core prime isn't doing nearly as much work as it was in the other deck. <laughs> That's true. Um, mm -hmm. But I also just haven't killed this, which might have also been a mistake because of how large well, this has gotten. There's not as many buffs. I mean, Lazy and Rain, but Biologist was just putting in a lot of buffs. Yeah, I think. So this is going to die. You're going to get a Gizmo. I think I'm willing just to take the three, just so this trades at this point, and then you'll get your gizmo as well there. Yeah, it's fine with me. 
So I'll play Mangasaur. I'll kill this. Wait. Actually, hold on. If I replace this... No, that's not worth it. Okay. I'll kill this, deal 5 to that. Okay, so it goes down to 2. Yep, and then we'll go to damage. So these will trade. Mm -hmm. I'll take 3. Yep. This will take 6. My guy dies, and I get 2 gizmos in total. Yes. So gizmo there. And we'll put a gizmo there. I think we're going to start with that there. That makes sense. Actually, no, I'll go here. Sorry. That okay. makes a little more sense because. Otherwise, I'm yeah. encouraging me to play Nexus Core. Okay. I also feel like I need to play a little bit more with the laboratory because I feel like it can be a trap on your side as well if you don't play it right. I feel like this game I did not play it right. Mm. Yeah. I was looking at the card. And I think the level 2 is a little bit stronger simply because of the fact that it produces two gizmos. Oh, I agree. 100%. It's just way too strong to have that. That also actually turns off uh, isolate if you by doing that. Mm -hmm. so. so I think it doesn't matter I think I activate my ability and we'll just start blasting Oak Brothers I think I'll replace that one All right, right. And then Forge Seal. I just really wanted to gain life. <laughs> um, we'll put on the Mantis. Activate the Mantis. Get another uh, Oak Father. And we will put it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. So at least one of yours is living. This point. This lives otherwise. I think I just have to kill your two. Well, well I could only kill one of them. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I just push. Yeah, I think. What kind of removal do I have in here? Not really any. So I do have to get to a point where I could try to remove these. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Pretty good iron beard with promote. So I am going to play a Mangasaur. I think this is where I'm playing at, at this point. Okay. If I do use the armor, at least this lives. The next turn, I kill it. So I think I'm going to deal the damage to this one. So 9 to this. I'm going to kill this, and this is going to come back. Wow, that's such a surprise. <laughs> and then do I use my armor here, or do I use it next turn to prevent some damage? Because so I really am only going to keep this. I think I'm just going to... i got to pass here. I don't want to use it yet. Okay. Do I care about that? That will put my guy down to 1. I don't really like that. I'm going to be taking 9 no matter what here. Well, I don't have to, but there's no point in putting a blocker in front of it. Uh, I'm going to isolate it. Yeah. Deal 8. Alright. So these two will trade. I'll go down to 26. Yeah, that was the play. 
summoning council for two oak fodder. Oh, that's so good. So we'll put oak fodder there, and we'll put an oak fodder there, mm -hmm. and I'll be to you. All right. So I guess what we'll do. Um. Yeah. I'll start with a rune scarred pit. Okay. I'm just gonna take the one brute. Okay. And then two. Lizzie oh, Rain. that's so good. Uh, that goes there. Um, I'm actually gonna replace the mantis because the yeah, it's has bigger. better stats. Yeah, it's definitely the right choice. Okay, and to you. All right, so we're going to do this 6, 10. Yeah, so this one's going to go here. So if I have two or more exalts in play, I get two brutes. Yep, it is important. And then my other zombies got plus four attack. Then I'll activate to give. Oops, wrong. Shields. Give myself and all my things six. I'm not gonna put them on. We could just count it out. Right. Whatever so. All right. So this these one. These two will still trade. Yeah, because this one goes to eleven. Yep. So these trade. Yep. And I take nothing here. Yep. Your guy um, lives there. And my lives guy dies. Fully. Yep. This one lives fully. Yep. Um. This one lives at one. At one, my guy goes down to one. Um, this one dies, yeah. and then yours takes 10, and then the and armor that would trample over gets absorbed by the iron beard. Yeah. All right, well, at least I survived that. <laughs> for now. Yeah, for now. See, now we're in a rough spot. So I'm going to take a lot here. That won't do it. I think I have to start with this. Then this. Still taking too much. <laughs> so I think start here. And two. We'll kill the brute there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Don't want you replacing it or anything. I'll play a Bricks. Which gets me Bricks' workshop. Right? Yeah, that's the, that's what I'll do. Then I'll put okay. this here, I guess. And then this okay. will get plus four. Does that matter too much? That will trade there. I think I just killed your entire board here. Without doing much. So yeah, I'm just gonna play Mad the Winter. All good. Yep. All right, so I'll take three. Yep. Then another 10. Yep. And three there, and then these two trade, and I get a gizmo somewhere. Okay. Start. 
start by playing Mantis, activating, replacing Gizmo with an Oak Father. Yep. Yep. Am I living through this? I don't think so. <laughs> um, let's see. So you're on the forge too, which makes it hard. Mm -hmm. I guess just for the sake of it, I'll throw out a rune scar pit. And two. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is a little bit awkward. Activate Mad Winter. Kill yeah. my Mantis. Get a six there. Get a Gizmo. Replace the Gizmo with Venerable Tinker. Kill the other two. Yeah, that was good. That was great. Yeah, and at this point, can't make two creatures. So I will just replace this there, destroy that. And I get to play a Gizmo minion somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I'll die here and I'll just die. Oof. Cool. That was awesome. Yeah, you definitely yeah. got a lot of advantage out of that. I think that Lewinter being able to then destroy something and then make more minions is so strong. Lewinter is really strong. Yeah, but I think I like this blue half. The more I play the laboratory, it's such a strong card, but you have to be playing it in a deck that kind of keeps the lanes loaded. Because if people could keep removing everything in your lanes, and then you just don't have anything to keep replacing, then mm -hmm. it's like, this can be kind of iffy. Because like I drew it at one point where my lane, I had one creature, and I'm like, well, this isn't going to do anything for me. Yeah, and it helps you keep the lanes loaded, too. And yeah. If you have but a posse I, mancer, that'd be fun. Yeah, for sure. Person. So that's where I'm going to try to pair this blue deck with something. Especially because it's also got like mm -hmm. Duplication Dome and other things like that. Oh, yeah. So it's got like a lot of cool exalts, um, but it's just I don't think this purple pair is the right pair. No. But it's still like interesting. So this is something I might pair with something else. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for the games, both of you. Um, yeah. I gotta go eat dinner yeah. now, but I could potentially be after dinner if either of you want to play some more um, testing. I might fuse a couple of decks while I'm eating, <laughs> as long as my girlfriend <laughs> doesn't get too mad. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I gotta do dinner now. But thank you both, and I think. The biggest thing that I think that will be interesting to figure out, though, is A, what decks easily beat your um, Nova Elementalist decks that could also handle the other decks in the format? And then B, if the ones that were good before, like so your Spell Slingers, your Life Gains, all that other stuff will be even viable into some of this new stuff. Um, it'll be interesting. I guess Indy will probably show us some of that, is my guess. I would just start at A, and if anything can get past that, I'm pretty happy. So. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, so if, at some point, if you guys want to just like stress test it, you're welcome to play the versions I have built and try them against some of the stuff I have or try them against your own decks or whatever it is. But I think stress testing against Nova Elementalist is probably going to be really important. Yeah, that's where you want to be, yeah. Cool. Well, again, thank you both for, for taking the time to, to do these games. Yeah, good games. Right. Sweet. And then I guess, um, Cardboard Newt, you said you wanted to take over and, and jump on your stream? Yeah, I'll jump on my stream in a sec. All right, cool. So then anyone watching now, if you want to keep watching, go to twitch.tv slash Cardboard Newt to, to keep viewing this, the footage. All right, but thank you guys so much. All right, I'm going to leave the call now just so I don't get yelled at. <laughs> All right. All right, later. Cool. All right, see you guys later. Give me one second. Do you want to play some games all right, so thank you everybody for tuning in, and we'll definitely have to get some more set content out soon. So have a good one, guys. See you later.